welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I will be using this uh, gel polish product I got from Bon Pretty uh, as a pair of package to do um, some press on set. So I'll be using these ones that came together with the matte top coat. So we have five I received from the pair of package. This, 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 and some other two reflective um, Vita gel polish. But I'll be using this three just to create um, the press on set. I'll be using this dark pinkish nude to do most of the nails. So all the colors I received in this pair package are dark and I've been thinking and brainstorming on how to combine them and they will come out fine. I don't want to use another color with it and I want to use one pretty product. So this is nude but it is dark and it puts a beautiful nude and I'll be pairing with the dark teal blue to create this beautiful set is that you saw on the thumbnail so just sit back relax and enjoy me create these beautiful sets for with this um bone pretty gel polish if you're coming across my channel for the first time my name is Ade Mida Bimbola I'm a new technician based in Lagos State Nigeria all I do on this channel are new tutorials, product reviews, and a little bit of vlogging. If you like what you see on this channel, kindly consider subscribing to become part of the family. So you can see the blue also is a very dark blue, but it's a beautiful one. The good thing I love about Bon Pretty gel, uh, gel polish products is for the fact that they are well pigmented. They are well pigmented, they are thick, and they dry or they cure fast in the UV lamp. Unlike some other products that, that are well pigmented and thick that don't cure well, these are thick, they are well pigmented and they cure very well in the UV lamp. Um, as you can see the colors I'm using, I only did a coat of these gel polish uh, products on the nails. I didn't have to go over it again because I got the right shade that I wanted. So, if you are thinking of getting um, a gel polish product that is worth the money and is not too expensive or is inexpensive, you can think of getting um, Bon Pretty. I'll be leaving the link in the description box so you can see. Click on the link and go to their website to get to see different colors. That they have on their website like I said in my previous video that I did about the bone pretty gel polish product when they finish curing the UV lamp they have very little stickiness on them you know and that's a good thing it's a good one when I brought it out of the UV lamp it was as if I already applied the top coat it was shiny and it was it had little sticky residue so I'm going to put in that in a lamp, cure it for 60 seconds. Then I'll be using this um, pinkish red uh, glitter gel polish to just do is a line design on it. So I've already applied the base coat on the nail before um, before I put the pinkish glitters. So it's just going to spread on the base coat. I don't want it too bold and that's why I use the base coat before I, I put the glitter gel polish on it. So I'll allow the glitter gel polish to spread a little bit before I cure it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds also. Then I'm going to be proceeding to the next set of the press on nails. You know there are ten, there's be 10 pieces, I've just done 5 so I'm going to be showing the next 5. This um, Press on set is for a size, um, I think a medium sized person, a medium finger nail sized person. I don't know how to put it in English. You get what I mean anyway. So I'm going to be repeating the same design on this set and I'll be giving you some lovely music 
to dance to while we are doing the second set. Then we'll come back to apply the top coat. You can see how shiny the press on is. Meanwhile, I'm yet to add the top coat. So I'm, I wanted to use the matte top coat because I wanted it to be matte. But when I added the matte top coat, I discovered the glitter design on the blue uh, nails were not that vibrant. Even though the pink was lovely on the matte, but the blue wasn't, wasn't that nice. So I decided to put um, the, a glossy top coat on the blue, but it was making the nail look different, you know. I don't know how a glossy nail we mix with the uh, matte nail. I don't know. To, I don't know. It wasn't just looking nice to me, so I decided to gloss all of them up. So I'd like to know your thoughts on this set. Let me know in the comment section if you prefer the matte set or the glossy set. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Also don't forget to share this video to anyone that might be interested in learning how to do press on nails. Till next time everyone. Bye.